Hey, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas with SD Rover. I've been out uh, from San Diego for about a week now. Started out in uh, one of my favorite locations in California called Montana de Oro, which is south of Los Osos, uh, which is near Morro Bay. Spent a few days there. The weather was a little overcast, but um, had uh, some good luck with my Goal Zero, running my Ingle refrigerator and everything. And this is really a long-term uh, review. So the Yeti Link, uh, in my mind, is a real game changer because what it has allowed me to do is run a very, um, very large cable from the battery through the firewall of the LR4 and uh, back to the battery. Um, I can plug this in when the car is in motion and it will actually charge uh, once the um, car battery is at full charge and it's uh, limited to only a one-way charge so if i turn off the um, lr4 then uh, the charge stops and it does not draw from the car battery it just draws from the goal zero so a couple tips i would have for you is um, if you do get a solar panel buy an extra long cord because um, you you never realize how <laughs> much the sun moves until you have a panel out and uh, having a long cable where I can leave the Goal Zero Yeti plugged in to the back of the LR4 and I can just relocate the Boulder uh, suitcase as the sun moves uh, makes it really handy, gives me a lot of e extra options. I think you lose a little bit of power uh, by using a longer cord but um, that's offset by the, the flexibility that that gives you. Absolutely consider the Yeti Link. I know it's expensive, but it will really open up um, the ability for you to have a fully charged uh, battery on board. I mean, we live in a, a, a world now where we need our iPhones and our iPads and drone batteries and camera batteries and, and all kind of things that we need to run with power. And having that option is, is good. Of course, one of the things I love most about my Yeti is um, is being able to get up early in the morning and camp and uh, plug in a coffee grinder and grind some fresh ground coffee beans. That really is one of my favorite things to do. I will say, uh, a couple years ago I was out in Anzo Borrego and uh, the Gold Zero was working just fine. Went to bed, got up the next day, um, the lights were wonky and couldn't get a charge, couldn't do anything. Uh, the unit just appeared to be dead. I called Z Goal Zero and um, unfortunately I was just outside the uh, warranty period and I was afraid, well, that's going to be a really bad situation for me. But um, the people on the phone were very helpful. Uh, they asked me for the original receipt which I provided to them and they did tell me that I was out of the warranty period. But um, they said, no worries, go ahead and uh, mail it in uh, and uh, we'll mail you back a refurbished unit. And uh, I was really, really, really thankful for that because at the time I certainly didn't want to have to reinvest in another, um, another Goal Zero. I guess the question would be, um, is there something more interesting on the marketplace that I would consider? Uh, because I will say that this unit is starting to not charge quite fully. And, you know, I expect that. It's getting, it's getting a little old. And I probably would also want to upgrade to the 1500 just to give me a little bit more headroom with power when I'm off grid for a little bit longer. And, uh, Obviously the new unit has USB-C, which is handy since most of my devices now are, are USB-C. Um, 
I will insert a couple pictures of the, the briefcase and I will also put a link up above for you and, and the description of my original review uh, that was done up in a favorite place of mine called the Ancient Bristlecone Forest, uh, which is outside of Bishop, California. Another really fabulous place. <laughs>